This video is about factoring. That is the process of changing a standard form into the factored form of a quadratic. The first thing that you are going to do is draw your generic rectangle and put two spots in right away. We know the x squared term always goes here. The number, the one by itself with no variable, always goes in the top right. The trouble is how to split up the 17x. Whatever that x term is, we need to figure out how to split it up to make a perfect rectangle. And we could have done 10x and 7x, or 3x and 14x. But we don't know for sure. It has to fit the pattern that we found in 812 that the product of the diagonals must equal each other. So when I multiply these two numbers, they have to equal 6x squared times negative 14. So that's why we use something that we've been using all year long, the diamond problem. And I just draw an x. So the bottom part of the diamond problem is 17x, because that's what the two numbers have to equal when added. And the top number is the product of the diagonals, because that's what the two numbers have to multiply to be. So 6x squared times negative 14 is negative 84 squared. So the next step can be kind of complicated and you might not know it right away. So my suggestion is to make a list of the factors. So 1 and negative 84, negative 1 and 84, 2 and 42, negative 2 and 42, what I'm doing is just taking a calculator and dividing by 2, dividing by 3, dividing by 4, dividing by 5, right? You can just keep doing that, and you only need to include the whole number factors. 3 and negative 28, negative 3 and positive 28, 4 and negative 21, negative 4 and positive 21. Looking at that list, I see a pair of numbers that adds to be positive 17. It's the last one. So I know that my two factors are negative 4x and positive 21x because they multiply to equal the product of my diagonal and they add to be the middle term, 17x. So I'm going to go ahead and fill those into my generic rectangle and then find the dimensions, the length and the width. So the greatest common factor between 4x and 6x is 2x. The greatest common factor between 21x and 6x is going to be 3x. And that works out because 3x times 2x is 6x squared. 2x times something equals negative 4x. That's negative 2. 3x times something equals 21x. That's 7. So I know that my factors are 3x minus 2 times 2x minus 7. And I can check by work by multiplying these together using a blank generic rectangle and I should get back to my original answer of 6x squared plus 17x minus 14. So this is the standard form and this is the factored form of my quadratic.